Princess Charlotte and Lilibet Mountbatten Windsor are the two granddaughters of the late Princess Diana. But who will inherit her jewelry collection? The late Princess Diana has two granddaughters, Princess Charlotte, 6, and 10-month-old Lilibet Mountbatten Windsor. However, according to royal experts, only one granddaughter is likely to inherit the Princess of Wales's iconic jewelry collection. Princess Charlotte will have the pick of the palace jewels when she is older along with two pieces already in mind for the six-year-old, according to royal commentators. A recent report claims Princess Charlotte will inherit a priceless heirloom owned by Princess Diana instead of Lilibet. Not only this, but six-year-old Charlotte will also have the pick of the palace jewels once she is old enough because her father, Prince William, is second in line to the throne and she is his only daughter, a royal source told The Mirror. This royal insider also claimed there are two items that would be best suited for Princess Charlotte to inherit. One of these is said to be the Spencer Tiara, the very same crown worn by Lady Diana on the day of her wedding to Prince Charles on July 29, 1981. The show-stopping headpiece had been in the Spencer family for almost a century before the royal wedding and had been worn at the weddings of her two older sisters, Lady Sarah McCorkadale and Lady Jane Fellows. The DR was partly made from a wedding gift given in 1919 from Lady Sarah Spencer to Lady Cynthia Hamilton, Diana's grandmother, for her marriage to Viscount Althorp. Other jewels belonging to the Spencer family were also used. Diana opted to use the Spencer family heirloom rather than borrow one from the Queen's collection, as both Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle did. Palace sources say discussions are underway to secure the heirloom, which currently resides with Diana's youngest brother Charles, 9th Earl Spencer, for Charlotte. The source claimed, William is quite aware the Earl has daughters of his own, but the two have agreed that Diana's iconic piece belongs to her first granddaughter. Another royal insider claimed Charlotte knows about the tiara through learning about her grandmother Diana, and cannot wait to one day try it on. They said, Lottie knows all about her granny Diana Dash after all, Diana is one of her middle names. She's also seen pictures of her wearing the tiara, they told Australian magazine New Idea. Tradition dictates brides wait until their wedding day before first wearing the piece, so Charlotte may have to wait a while before she can try on the tiara. It comes as new research suggests Charlotte could become the richest member of the royal family when she grows up. The study from Electric Ride on Cars suggests the princess will far exceed her older and younger brothers in her fortunes, potentially being worth as much as £3.6 billion, Express.co.uk recently discovered. It is thought she has the potential to earn more than her brothers due to the Kate Middleton effect. The phenomenon suggests fashion choices of the royal family can have a huge impact on fashion trends, which increases their worth. Speaking to Anne Gripper on the podcast Pod Save the Queen, he said, I try to show in the book the way in which the royal system has treated these two boys in different ways. Charlotte will have to navigate this difficult role, one which previous spares have found very difficult. Robert Lacey, author of Battle of Brothers, argued that the spare is treated harshly by the royal system, which prioritizes the main bloodline. Prince Harry has struggled with the role his whole life and it arguably contributed to his eventual decision to step down as a senior royal. Harry and his wife Meghan announced a year ago that they would be leaving their royal life behind and soon move to the U.S., where they settled in Montecito, California. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex made their decision after struggling with intense public and press scrutiny for several years. Harry has always been more of a rebel than his brother William getting into trouble for drinking and smoking cannabis when he was 17 and was even sent to a drug rehabilitation clinic for a day by Prince Charles. He stumbled into controversy again when he was pictured wearing a Nazi costume to a fancy dress party and later when he was photographed naked at a party in Las Vegas. Harry was known to be a keen partier and regularly broke royal protocol with public displays of affection with his girlfriends. His rebellious antics may have been down to the fact he had this difficult role, one that is vague and less well-defined than that of the heir. Harry found himself someone who would never be monarch, but still had to endure the public interest and intrusion, while supporting his brother. Harry reportedly felt sidelined by William growing up and felt that his brother was the favorite in the royal family.